So this is uh, still inverse, inverse trig ratio. So I'm going to give you a bunch of numbers or a bunch of questions now. And some of it, you have to use calculator directly. So I strongly suggest that you download TI-84 app on your uh, cell phone so that when I say use calculator, you won't be looking up, uh, you know, trying to find TI-84 so that we are all going to be on the same page. Yes, it is going to cost maybe a little dollar, one or two or so, as I don't know the cost. And I guarantee you, these are the, some of the things that the parents like to pay for. Okay, if you want me to convince them to uh, to get the app, I will be happy to do that. Just send me an email, and I guarantee you that you are going to get it. Parents like to pay for such thing as long as it is an academic stuff. All right, uh, inverse trig ratio. So now, if you are given a triangle that looks like this. Just given a triangle, and you have a, a maybe a certain angle. Maybe the, here is the angle theta, and they gave you that something that looks like this. Um, let me say x plus two, and maybe five here. And then the question says, please pay attention to this. And then the question says. Right theta as a function of x, right theta, which is the angle as a function, as a function of, hold on, please, as a function of x. Okay? So that's the question. Now look at your triangle. Of course, this is 90 degrees. Like I said time and time again, the key in trigonometry, crash in trigonometry is. That's Sokatua. So just write your Sokatua. Sokatua. Just like if you dismiss from school, if you don't have key to your house, you can get it. That's how important Sokatua is in trigonometry. So now look at the, the triangle that is given to you. Tangent. Okay, um, sine. For example, sine theta is opposite over adjacent. Cos theta is, no, I'm sorry, opposite of a hypotenuse. And cos theta is adjacent of a hypotenuse. And tangent theta is opposite of a adjacent. That's basic. So now look at the triangle that you are given. It says that, it, 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 look at where your theta is. And the side that is facing the 90 degree is the hypotenuse. So obviously, this is the hypotenuse right here. So this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent. So that means that, that means that tangent of theta is opposite, which is X plus two over adjacent. The adjacent is five, all right? So now, how do we now get theta, which is what they're actually looking for? They are not looking for tangent of theta, they are looking for theta. And then they say, write it as a function of X. So the next thing you will do is theta is um, inverse of tangent, which is tan X plus two over five. Or you can write it as theta is equal to arc tan X plus two over five. And you are done. You see how easy it can be, straightforward. All right? So this is what you need to do. Now, let me illustrate one more thing before I give you the work. One more thing. So I just need about, uh, let, me, let me put on the calculator and show you. Um, okay, now here's another, another question that, um, hold on. Can you see the calculator now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'll be, I'll be um, uh, switching between calculator and the screen. So let me go to the screen and write the question. So, a question could be like this. This one, you need a calculator. You need a calculator to do it. So uh, the question could be like this. Um, find the exact value. Find the exact value of, let's say, sine, arc sine, arc sine negative 0 0.2. OK, so this one, you need a calculator. So now let's get back to the calculator. 
So you find the exact value of sine, parenthesis, arc sine, bracket, uh, negative 0 0.2, close parenthesis. So what you need to do is you have to evaluate the inner bracket, inner bracket first, which is the arc sine. So you use your calculator, um, you just press second function, arc sine. This is your arc sine, negative, then you press 0 0.2, then you close the parenthesis, then you hit enter. Did you see what it gave you? Then the next thing you do is, it says find the sign of it. So uh, let me go back to the screen. So you can see that arc sign, hold on please. You better write it this way, hold on. So you can see that um, you are going to get sign of, then the, the value of the arc sign, which is negative 11 point what? 11.53. Yes, so let's just use 11.5, you know, to okay. make it a little bit um, easier. 11.5, it doesn't really matter whether we type in the whole number. So now the next thing you do is you come, you use back your calculator. You come back with your calculator and then just press sign, sign directly. And then you enter uh, negative 11.5. Five, three, and you close the parenthesis and you hit enter. Boom. Wait, do we round it up? I mean, you can round up. The process is what counts to me, not really the, the final answer. I need to be seeing the numbers. If you're rounding up, you know, just, but I prefer you do one place of decimal at least, one place of decimal. And then that's your result. Your result is negative uh, 0. Point one nine or negative 0 0.2 that's your result okay so this is the kind of thing you are going to do now i'm going to let you ask a question after the question i will post the work and then you can go and do it so our solution here now is going to be um zero point negative zero point z one nine eight yeah or one nine nine it doesn't really matter all right, so that's what you need to do. And that's what I'm going to give you right now. Any question before I pose the work? No.